Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another The Book of Boba Fett episode. We are on a Season 1, Episode 5, or Chapter 5. Um, we might see Din Djar in this episode. The Mandalorian. Maybe even Grogu. Oh no. I forgot my Grogu cup. Oh, whatever. I don't need my Grogu cup. Um, this is going to be a huge episode. Biggest episode yet, I'm pretty sure. Um, I mean, they teased him. His music was last episode. I think The Book of Boba Fett on Twitter posted a uh, Mandalorian picture today, so... I mean, they, they, Mandalorian's gonna be in this episode. Some people are saying they're gonna save him for episode six. I don't think so. They teased him last episode. We're gonna see him this episode. Anyways, I'm super happy about that. Uh, I hope we get Grogu as well. Let me just pull up my notes here. Okay, so let's recap the last episode really quickly. Um, it was the whole, the whole, I mean, he's finished healing. Bobo's finished healing. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get any more backstory to that. We saw him uh, get Fennec on his team and then get the slave one with her from Jabba's palace. They took out the Sarlacc, they took out the Kintan Striders, and and then he finished healing. I, th I think that's all that happened last episode. And then um, he united the three uh, people in town, the three different nations or whatever, and they're all helping Boba, fighting for him, I guess. Hopefully, we can, we can trust them, hopefully. Anyways, let's hop into this episode. Let's see, what is it? 52 minutes, jeez, chapter 5, an unexpected ally emerges, Ooh. let's go, I'm hyped, I want to see Din Djarin, come on, and we're going to have a war with the pikes right here, subscribe if you're new, uh, leave a like if you want, it helps a lot, here we go, let's hop into it. Is that the dark save on his back? Let's go. No, it's not. It's his. It's his staff or spear. Oh, he looks so good. I need Mandalorian season three, dude. Mandalorian is so good. Oh, his armor is so shiny. It looks like he got it like extra shined, or it just, or I don't know. I see him right now. <laughs> That's not me. That doesn't even look like me. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of do all look the same, but I'm gonna give the rest of you the opportunity to walk out that door. I can't believe we're getting uh, the Mandalorian right here. I can bring you in warm. <laughs> That's the options. Or I can bring you in cold. Yeah, there you go. Oh, biting! What the? Why bite? A one unarmored part of him. Oh, the dark saber! Oh, that was so sick. Thumbnail. Thumbnail right there. It looks so good live action. Oh, I knew he was gonna be cutting this meat, this meat place up. Ooh. Did he just actually touch the dark saber, or was that a blaster bullet? Oh my gosh! <laughs> that was such a sick scene. <laughs> Oh. Dude, live action Darksaber. If you don't know, we're watching Clone Wars on the channel as well. Reacting to that. And I've seen the, the, the Darksaber in animation form. I have no trouble with any of His you. head. There's a pile of New Republic credits in there that I have no right to. They're definitely going to let you pass. <laughs> they don't know what they just witnessed. It's just that easy. Dude. Okay, the dark saber might be one of my favorite lightsabers live action. Return of the Mandalorian. Oh my gosh, what a good title. Halo? What the? Did we just enter Halo? Is that a ring? What's, what's happening? Whoa, what the heck? Is this a rim? The outer rim? I don't know. I honestly don't know what that is. Let me know in the comments. It's really sick though. And I also, I know that's not the outer rim. That's the name of the out, outside of space or whatever. I can't describe it, but this looks like a halo ring. <laughs> this dripping head. <laughs> what is that creature? Fruit Loops? 
Why is she speaking her teeth? I'd put that hmm. on ice if I were you. Oh, he's still really hurt. Oh, that's really bad. Jeez, you could fall off this ring thing. Just fall straight into space. Oh. Whoa, who is this? We didn't have this dude in the, Man the Mandalorian. Be careful. Does she not know he has it? This dude's like a juggernaut Mandalorian. Oh, ho. It's so cool just seeing them wielding it. We're gonna get so many cool screenshots. It is the dark saber. Indeed. Do you understand its significance? Whoever wields it can lead all of Mandalore. He kinda won it in combat though. He just didn't kill for it. A thousand years ago by the Mandalore Tar Visla. Oh. With both Mandalorian and Jedi. This dude's related. This is the way. That guy wants the dark saber, doesn't he? It was made by his great 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 grandfather. But I like it. The dark saber is a more noble weapon for you to wield. Oh, that's true though. That's true. Don't take it from him though. Bye bye, staff. Have you ever heard of Bo Katan Kreez? Huh. I have. It's a cautionary tale. Once laid claim to rule Mandalore based purely on blood and the sword you now possess. Yeah, she seemed to want it really bad. I haven't met her in Clone Wars yet, though. Bo-Katan Kreez was born of a mighty house, but they lost sight of the way. Her rule ended in tragedy. The Great Purge. Those born of oh. Mandalore strayed away from the path. Eventually, the Imperial interlopers destroyed all that we knew and loved in the Night of a Thousand Tears. The Night of a Thousand Tears. Jeez. Oh. Whoa. Had <laughs> that probe droid looks gigantic, but it's just a close up. I want to see one of those big wars with droids and stuff. It had some droids and Imperials. Oh my. For a specific foundling. Oh. Grogu. <gasps> He's no longer. He's gonna get armor? Is he gonna get a Mandalorian helmet? <laughs> I want to see him. Make sure he's safe. In order to master the ways of the Force, Jedi must forego all attachment. Then make him make him a little Mandalorian figurine then. Make him a little figurine so that he can remember Din. No way, they're foraging something for Grogu. <laughs> hmm. Is it just like a bracelet, necklace thing? I feel like we're, we're, we're just watching a Mandalorian episode right here. What? This is the Book of Boba Fett? Hello? I'm not complaining though. Huh? You are fighting against Jetpack. <laughs> I forgot he had that. Oh my gosh. I was like, hello? And don't hit yourself in the leg with it. Is it heavy? Hello? <laughs> Think. Bonk. Oh, I knew it. This guy wants it. Aw, oh, dude. He doesn't. Mandalorian has to kill this dude. Agree to this duel, Din Djarin. Does he get the Darksaber for the duel? I do. Does he have to kill, though? Oh, <laughs> it's a standoff. Uh oh, I think this guy. Oh no, jetpack! Oh, they're just gonna... one of them is just gonna fall into space. I'd shoot that dude's jetpack. Whoa! This guy's straight out of Dune. Why is that knife vibrating? And what is that tiny shield? Oh, that is sick. What is that though? That's like a taser. It vibrates so fast it stuns you, it looks like. Oh, he just chopped it right in half, though. Fight with the blade. Uh oh. Oh no, he's gonna pick it up. Ah! Uh... Fate has brought this blade back to my clan. And our fate. Is it heavy? Yours. They're all, like, really struggling with it. Jeez. Oh. Nice, getting in between all his armor, stabbing him. It's done. 
Have you ever removed your helmet? I have. And you are a Mandalorian no more. No, what's the show going to be called then? <laughs> According to Creed, one may only be redeemed in the living waters beneath the mines of Mandalore. Oh, we got a trip to go on. Just sending him on a long quest just because he took off his helmet once. Maybe he'll ride the Mythosaur when he gets there, though. I like how everybody was thinking we're just going to get, like, a Mandalorian cameo. He's going to show up, maybe get five minutes of screen time. He is this episode so far. It's probably, like, halfway through, and he's been the entire episode. No way he's going to put the Darksaber in there, though. Don't do it. Don't put the Darksaber in there. <laughs> he has so many weapons on him. There you go, there. No. Say it's just a prop. He probably still has a weapon on him. I mean, he has a jetpack. What a view. Ugh. Oh, the suction cup fingers, dude. It grosses me out so much. <laughs> he misses Grogu. That's cute. Is everything in there? Everything looked like it's in there. Huh. A little buddy. Uh -huh. A little BD. Huh. Hey, it's her. She was in the second episode of this also. Or first episode or whatever. Why are they scared of the little BD? Okay, it's not here. Maybe it ran... <laughs> Oh, no, there's, there's, oh, she's scared of the womp rat. Dead. Hey. Okay, she was saving the droid. I was like, why is she chasing this? Everyone, it's Mando. <laughs> oh, right this way. Ready to have your mind blown? No way. Uh. Oh. <gasps> Oh, it looks uh, a lot. Razor crest. <laughs> I never said I had a razor crest. A replacement. I had a replacement for a razor crest. It's got a starfighter. Time for this. This is an N1 starfighter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Royal Guard and commissioned personally by the Queen of Naboo. If you get that thing up and running, that would be super cool seeing him fly that. Honestly, that's one of my favorite Star Wars ships just because of that game, the starfighter game. How is he going to store people in cryo and cryo f chambers, though? She's off the grid. Oh, that's pretty nice. You gotta see the potential. I see it. I like it. Oh. Mando, you gotta believe me. This is a classic. <laughs> Every part she touches just gets destroyed. Oh, uh, that's going to be sick. They're actually going with this. And it's yellow. I always get a lot of junk. Can I meet them? Yeah, sure. R5! See if the Jawas are still out back! See the Jawa for a while. They're quite furry. Very furry. What? Ugh. A human speaking Jawa. <laughs> make a wish list and they'll see what's available. Jawa? What are you doing? Oh, that's okay. I'm working on me right now. It's just sound like minions. I hate it. <laughs> oh, that should that's not supposed to be in there. No way they're getting him a starfighter. I still can't wrap my hand around that. I like it. Now instead of Grogu, he needs a little R2 droid on top of his ship too. You know, I've never even been off world. What? I'm a local gal. You build spaceships and you never been in one out of the planet? How do you live in the Star Wars? world and not travel off planet gong where does this panel go <gasps> oh that's so useful oh it's evolving it's looking good i want more yellow though paint it more yellow where do they get what the heck density combustion booster do you really want to know <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they are furry. What the heck? I never saw their hands before. Yeah, I swear, Jaw Jawas are just Ewoks on other planets. They're Tatooine Ewoks. <gasps> oh. 
Dang, I want more yellow though. Whatever. I hogged it out. You know, I figured with your disposition, you'd want to forego the astromech. <laughs> so no droid, okay. This means he's gonna get in some in some space battles. I think that's what this ship means. Oh it works. What if like one little thing doesn't work? Like how are you gonna find it? How are you gonna find the little screw? Why are you standing in front of the blasters? Jeez. He needs to take this girl into space. She's never been been up there. Oh look at that. I still wish it was yellow, just for nostalgia. But his own version being silver here. Matches pretty well. You're used to a gunship, but she's a starfighter, so mm -hmm. fire like one. <laughs> People have probably haven't seen that before. Go pod racing with it. It's so fast. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. You gotta watch out. We're literally seeing a pod race right here. Oh, this is so sick, dude. Oh, he's passing by them. Oh, I love this episode. There he is. <laughs> Ika -poka. This is Mandalorian. What the heck? <laughs> oh, that's sick. He, he likes it. Uh-oh, what's happening? Oh, not again. He's just taking it for a test. Dang, not this again. Except this time he can outrun them. Because <laughs> he's so fast. Who's the other, the other pilot? It's him. <laughs> Are they both the same person? It's just this guy. I think you have the wrong guy, officer. That ship showed up on a transponder log back in Navarro in an incident involving Imperial remnants. Uh-oh. He can't outrun them, though. Oh. oh. <laughs> there he goes. He's off. Oh, Mandalorian's crazy. He actually got an upgrade. They didn't see anything. They saw nothing. How was it? Wizard. <laughs> Wizard, what? How was it? Wizard. <gasps> Fennec? I told her I didn't know where you were. Then I locked her out and engaged the hangar security system. She tell you her name? <laughs> Here we go. I forgot. I forgot we're watching Book of Boba Fett. War with the Pikes. He sure would appreciate it. Tell him it's on the house. Hey, First, that's nice. Gotta pay a visit to a little friend. Ooh. Oh, Grogu. No. Oh, that was such a good episode. It'd probably make people mad if I said that was the best uh, book of Boba Fett episode because there was no Boba Fett in the entire episode. Um... They mentioned his name once at the end, one of the last lines, Boba Fett. That was all we got of the book of Boba Fett. That was a full Mandalorian episode. That's crazy. I honestly thought we were just getting a cameo. Like 90% of the episode would be Boba Fett and then they'd find Mandalorian, uh, Din Djarin at the end or something and recruit him. No, we just got a full Mandalorian episode. So much lore, so much more sto uh, story built to the character. He got a new ship. He built it with, uh, what's her name, Polly. We learned that that girl, Polly, dated a... Dated a Jawa? What? She spoke Jawa? I don't think we've ever heard a human speak Jawa before. At least I haven't. That was crazy. I can't wait to see more of him interacting with Boba. Um, and you know what that hinted at last, uh, at the end of the episode there? We're gonna see Grogu next episode, so that's nice. Grogu, we're gonna see what he forged his spear, his best car spear, into for Grogu. Um, I'm guessing it's not a weapon, of course. Grogu doesn't need a weapon. Maybe armor, maybe it's a little Mandalorian action figure so he can remember him. 
Um, that's my guess, but it's, it's probably some armor or something. They look like they were making little chain links, so maybe necklace, chain mail, I don't know. And then, oh my gosh, I've said it a billion times, but it's so sick that he got a Starfighter this episode as well. One of my favorite Star Wars ships ever. And I think fans, Star Wars fans are going to really, really enjoy this episode. And we saw a Mandalorian duel for the Darksaber as well, like so much happened. And my best guess to what's going to happen next episode is probably, I mean, lots of Mandalorian and uh, Boba talking, of course, Grogu. We're going to see him, and then the beginning of the war with the Pikes, and then we get two episodes um, next week, actually. We get the, the we get episode six, and we get episode seven together. So we're going to get a lot, a lot of content next week. Very excited for that. So yeah, uh, subscribe, stick around for next week's double finale episode, and maybe a post credit scene, hopefully, where they announce the date of Mandalorian Season 3. That would be really sick, or maybe the Ahsoka show or something. But yeah, this was a fantastic episode. I, I don't think anyone was expecting uh, this, what we just got. And so many sick shots with the Darksaber as well, just like still frames that I can just screenshot and look super sick. Because we didn't get to see him really fight too much with the Darksaber, or at all, did we? I don't know if we actually saw him, like, holding it and destroying people with it um, at the in the finale. I don't really remember the finale too much. But we literally saw him chopping up alien people. Chopping people up, just slicing them in half, uh, and then fighting another Mandalorian with it. So, sick episode, lots of cool scenes, lots of things we've never seen before. And, um, yeah, I can't wait for more Mandalorian. I honestly didn't care that we didn't get Boba Fett this episode. Uh, I thought it was really nice to catch up with Mando here. So anyways, let me know your thoughts on the episode. Where would you rank it with all the other Book of Boba Fett episodes? And what do you think is coming up next in next week's double finale, double episode upload? Um, Let me know in the comments, like, subscribe, and that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video.